I have been working on adding talents to the Derp Star. You can unlock higher tiers permanently using the boss course and increase the current level using the points in game. This will reset every time the player dies. I only have one talent for now to increase maximum health. As you can see, every time I increase the level, the maximum health goes up. I plan to add more talents in the future and a way to save them in the next episode. So first, I need to add a new button to the pause menu. So duplicate this. and change the text to do that and then I'll disconnect the pressed and connect it to the overlay so here we will uh, pause menu dot hide and then talents.show so we'll hide this the back the boss flash is a color rect so it's just a solid color i'll duplicate that and this will be the talents um and then i'll change the color to solid That'll be, it's a little bit, that's better, okay. Um, then under talents, I'll add a VBox container, or no, an HBox container, and then I'll just copy the talents button again. So just paste those in there so they'll be lined up. And then this will be upgrade. Unlock and uh back. And I'll change the text for each one. And uh, probably want to move this down a little bit to about there. I'll need to set the anchors, but hopefully those will just stay there. So on the I'll disconnect these for now and the back so we'll connect to the on talents back pressed to the overlay and this will just do the opposite, so talents.show and pause menu talents.hide and pause menu show um, so we'll make sure that worked no because I need to hide them by default. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay. The HUD layer is above the talents layer, so 
um, you can change the filter to pass or ignore so that the mouse clicks can go through to the next layer. And then in overlay, in the overlay script, uh, when you hit the talent button, I do want to hide the health bar and energy bar. And when you unpause, we will hide the talents as well. Um, so and then uh, when you press back, we'll reshow these. And I think I can just copy all of this into my pause function. And then I can call that on talents instead. So I'll connect the node here to overlay, connect it to pause. So now this is the default behavior. Okay, that should hopefully work now. So if I click on talents, nothing happens. Okay, um, because I mapped the wrong one. So we'll put that back. And then the back button in the talents is what I need to map to the pause function in overlay. Okay. Well, right, because of course this is needs to be hidden by default. Okay. So I need to adjust the the anchors here, but that's fine. Okay, this seems to be working. So now I'll add, I'll attach a script to the talents node and I'll add a mode equals upgrade and I'll make two functions to toggle between them. So upgrade mode mode equals upgrade and unlock mode mode equals unlock I could just use a boolean for this uh, but I think it's easier to read when you use the strings you just have to be careful uh, that you're spelling everything correctly so now in the upgrade button, I'll connect the pressed to the talents script and we'll call upgrade mode so that will connect there. And then I'll connect the pressed signal on the unlock to the unlock function. unlock mode there like that and then I also want to 
disable the appropriate button so you can kind of tell which one is selected. So we'll disable those and then we'll enable the opposite one. Oh, this will be disabled equals false, disabled equals true. Like that. So I'll see if that works real quick. So talents, upgrade, unlock, and back. It's all good. So now I want to change the color of the talents. So currently it's around um, like mid green. So I think I can say color equals color dot new. Um, so actually you can just put the parameters directly after color so those are floats I think that will work and then color for this one it'll be an orange so we'll set red to 0.5 probably red to 1 and green to 0.5 that might make orange so we'll go to talents unlock upgrade yes okay that's doing exactly what I want it to and then on ready uh, we'll call the upgrade mode first so now it's locked out immediately okay that looks good next I need to make a scene to display the talents and this will be a vertical box container so rename it and save then at the top will be the name of the talent, the display name, which will be maximum health. And then I'll add a button. So I can drag the icon into here so it has normal button behavior and then I'll add another label at the bottom which will indicate how many uh, points you have in the talent so we'll center it That all looks pretty good. And then if we test the scene, so when you hover over it, it changes color and you can click on it. So then I'll attach a script and whenever the button is pressed, 
I'll connect to the talent. So this will emit a signal. And then when the button is pressed, we'll emit the talent pressed signal. and pass self as a parameter. So then in the talents GUI, I'll drag this <clears throat> onto the talents pan. We can just drag it over. Um, then, so I'm going to connect the talent pressed signal and talents. And it passes talent as a parameter. And then, so if Yeah, we'll just pass for now. Okay, uh, back in the display. So we will need some variables. So we'll have the uh, upgrade equals zero and um, Unlock. <clears throat> okay, so here, if mode is equal to upgrade, then call the upgrade function with the talent or, well, so basically, you just want to increase the talent upgrade by one, and then else if mode is equal to unlock, then talent dot unlock plus equals one. And then uh, we want the talent to update basically. So we'll give it the update display function. And then we'll say um, <clears throat> so this will be our counter so we'll say var text equals um, string upgrade plus space slash space plus string unlock and then we'll set counter dot label or counter dot value text equals counter text. So now if I run this all right 
change it to unlock. Okay, so in upgrade mode, it increases that, and in unlock, it increases that. So, um, I do want to, if upgrade is greater than or equal to unlock, which it shouldn't ever be greater than, but if it is, then we'll, when it reaches the maximum, basically, we'll do button dot disabled equals true. So now the, yeah, okay. And then on ready, We'll call update display. Okay, so now it's grayed out and I can't click on it. So you go to unlock. Oh, it depends on the mode. Okay, well. So I need to add a mode variable to the talent display and also make a, so in the talents pane, I'll declare a signal for mode changed. And then, oh, it doesn't need the quotes. So here, when I change the mode, I'll say emit signal, mode changed, and emit the mode. And we'll do that in unlock as well. Um, so then I'll connect the uh, mode changed signal from the GUI to the talent display. And then we'll say mode equals the parameter here. So now I can say if upgrade is greater than or equal to unlock and mode equals upgrade then the button is disabled, otherwise the button is not disabled. So now, I can change it to unlock. Okay, that didn't work because when the mode is changed, then we'll call update display here, unlock, okay, so now I can increase the maximum with unlock and the minimum, or the current with upgrade, and it disables once you reach the maximum. I also need some functions to get the upgrade cost and the unlock cost. The upgrade cost will be in points. Um, 
So I'll say return upgrade plus one times a thousand. So it'll be a thousand for the first level, two thousand for the second level. And then the unlock cost will be unlock plus one times one. So, so it'll just be one, two, three uh, of the boss cores to unlock the maximum. And those will, the unlock will persist through death and the upgrades will reset. So I'll figure that out in a minute, but so then in the talents, if mode is upgrade, talent upgrade plus equals one, and then we'll say player stats dot points. Do I have the points here? Player stats. No, I haven't refactored that yet. Okay, well. We'll add it. And I can refactor it later. Minus equals um, actually, so it'll be decrease points and then talent dot get, or I guess it's just upgrade cost. Okay, and then here we'll do player stats, decrease boss cores, talent, dot, unlock cost, and then in player stats, We'll add the appropriate functions. So boss cores minus equals amount. here. So the points um, connector update points um, so here's the HUD, and we do have an update points, so that should work. Um, and I'll just give myself some points to work with. Okay, so, and then if I increase that, it does go down. It's going down by one more than I expected it to. 
So, um, yeah, so now it's decreasing the points when you upgrade this. These are getting conflicting values from the points because I have it stored in two places, but this value is going negative, so I do need to fix that real quick. So I'll also add the increase points function. which will basically do the same thing. And then in the Bumbership base class, I'll remove the add point signal. So right here, and I'll just call the connector or the player stats. Okay. So player stats dot increase points and then the points and I'll do the same for the space worm. So that'll be in here. Oh, I already have it in the connector. Okay. So I'll remove it from the connector. like so, and then in space worm, I'll do player stats, add points instead. Um, so that should get rid of the conflict that we were having. Let's see. Oh. Okay. This is why I prefer the singleton because it actually throws an error, the signals will just fail silently and I wouldn't have known anything went wrong. Okay. So, continue. I might need to change this. So now it looks like we don't have the conflict anymore. I do need to actually remove it from Derp Star as well. Um, or maybe it was in main. I think that's where I had it. So player points and update points will go away. And then I can move that out of the main, which is good. Um, we don't need that anymore either. I do, I need to refactor all of this, but, so you can change the modulate on a node to change the whole color of it, so I can make it red. It's kind of hard to tell on the heart, but it'll be more obvious on other icons. So I'll just leave it white here, but we'll say here. 
here. <clears throat> so we'll kind of piece this out. If mode equals upgrade. If upgrade is greater than unlock. We'll move that up. And then else. This is in case I add another mode, which I don't think I am, but so if mode is unlock, then we'll say if player stats dot uh, boss scores is less than unlock cost. Then, so this is just called modulate, I think. So we'll say button dot modulate equals color. Uh, we'll set it to red, so like that. I guess it doesn't really need the alpha. Um, otherwise, set it back to white. And then here, we'll say if player stats dot points is less than upgrade cost then oh and we'll want to I'll disable the button as well disable equals true disable equals false So else <clears throat> if the upgrade cost is less than unlock, so then we'll set it back to that. Um then I need to actually flip these two so it gets the cost before it up applies the upgrade which is why it was costing double or extra and then in the player stats I'll go ahead and lower this down to like 10,000 So now, hopefully this will work. So the gray out is still working. And now when you, so the next upgrade would cost six and I only have five. So grade that out. And here I can't upgrade. So it it's red there too. So that all seems to be working. Then I need to make a new resource for the talent. This inherits resource. So 
So we'll have an export variable for display name. And one for the texture. And I also might need a max count, a max unlock. And if it's zero, I'll just assume that it's infinite. So this is a string. This is a texture. Is it a capital T? And the max is an int. And then we'll also have the upgrade and unlock levels. Okay. So then in our talents, um, close other tabs. So in the display now, um, we'll have a talent resource and then okay so I'll add a function to turn red and disable as well. I think that would be good. which is this one. And we'll do the turn white and enable, which will set this to false. I can call that here and here. Okay. Now, here's the talent. Um, so we'll do talent.upgrade, talent.unlock. Uh, for now, I want this to be an export variable but I'll move it in a second. So this is a resource. <clears throat> okay, so on ready, we'll say, uh, let me get rid of those. So <clears throat> if talent upgrade, I just want to put this on front of all the variables. Um, and the button it's icon dot icon. So 
button dot icon equals talent dot texture. And then uh, name dot text equals talent dot display name. Okay, that should work. So then in main on the talent we have an export variable here oh i need to designate a class name so this will be talent okay And then in main under talent, now it should show up. Hmm. It's not there. Maybe if I run it, yes, I know. No, okay, I'll have to restart. So I restarted the IDE, and now when I click on the uh, talent so new talent shows up in the list so this will be max health and the texture is the heart and maximum is zero because there won't be a cap so now, if I go to here, and I can just put in some filler, so I know that it changed. Let's see. Okay, so it did. It updated from the resource. Oh. Okay. So. So this isn't working because uh, it would need to be talent.talent, .talent, but that's uh, kind of goofy. So I'm just going to add a helper function in the talent display. So the convention's a little bit confusing. This is not the actual resource. So then in the display, I can say func function upgrade.
So this will just move the control down to the display, which may or may not be a good thing, but so then we'll add one for unlock as well. And then call upgrade cost from here. And this should work now. We want to, I'll update the display as well. So let's see. It let me unlock. I can increase that. That didn't work though. Because I can't spell. There we go. I still can't spell. There we go. Now it should work. Okay. So that's... That's all working now. Good. So this might not be the best way to go about this, but... I'm going to make a generic dictionary resource. Um, class name, dictionary resource. <clears throat> and this will just have a single export variable named list of type dictionary. And then in my talent folder, I'll make a new resource of type dictionary resource. So this will be the talent list. And then in the display pane over here, I can add my objects to this array instead. So the key is a string, new max health. The value is an object of type talent. And I'll fill this in again. So the texture is the heart and there's no maximum. And then make sure you click add <coughs> key value pair or else it won't save when you do that. So then in the player stats, auto load, I'll make a new variable called talent, which equals the talent list resource. And I'll make a new function to get talent. Um, which will be, and then you'll pass in the talent name. And this will return the upgrade value at the pass parameter. So essentially, the talent level here. Then in my talent class, um, so this is the display. I'll 
I'll make a new function to set talent. So talent equals t. And then we'll just make this a normal variable. And then I'll just take all of this from the ready function since it won't have the talent until the parent class is done loading. So then in main and talents on ready, uh, so we'll say talent set talent, and then we'll get the player stats dot talent dot list at max health. So we'll get this programmatically uh, later, but I'm just hard coding it for right now. So hopefully, no, this still is throwing an error. I'm not exactly sure why. The talent is null. Update display on set talent. Oh, okay because okay so I need to set the talent before I set the upgrade mode and it didn't crash that's great and I can increase this so it looks like everything is still working that's good Okay, now I do want to, so in my overlay pause menu, I was going to put the talents below the continue button. I think that looks a little better. And then of course I want to hide the talents by default. So now it starts out like normal. So I can click on the talents and it's actually paused. Okay, and then continue. Everything seems to be working, except for this. Okay, here's player stats, increase points, that's why. Okay, and that hopefully everything's gonna work. And finally, I'll add a talents changed signal. Not in the HUD though, in the talents. So signal talents changed. And then whenever a talent is pressed, I'll emit signal. Talents changed like that. And now in the derp star, I need to connect the talents changed signal to the derp star. <clears throat> And then C 
So I'll set the maximum health. Set maximum um, player stats dot <clears throat> get talent max health. Okay, so var And then new max equals a thousand. Yeah, so we'll get the talent, uh, talent level, multiply it by 100. That might be too much. I'll probably balance this later, but we're going to start at a thousand. And uh, add 100 for every single point in the talent. So then we'll set maximum health. Every time you uh, put a point into the talent. So if we go to talents. This might actually work. So we'll upgrade it once, and there we go. The maximum health is increased. So I can increase it again. Yeah. And now I'll need 5,000 points to upgrade it again. But that all works really well. Alright, thank you for watching and have a great day.